So yesterday, today for me, yesterday for you, <clears throat> we got the initial poster for live action One Piece, and only on Netflix. This is continuing on my, basically, continuation of how much I think this is going to suck. And I know I'm using Geeks and Gamers right here, but Geeks and Gamers, shout out to them. They put out the tweet, this is where I found it first. We're going with that. And it's basically a very similar thing to the initial tweet. It's just, hey, here's this thing. Comes out soon. You know, you, you get my response to people and things happen. But, you know, you come over here. We'll go with IMDb. Netflix live action One Piece series arrives this year. New poster revealed. Netflix has released a new poster for its One Piece live action series that reveals that 2023 release date for... Excuse me, for the long-awaited ad adaptation. It was first announced, I want to say, back in 2020. And we'll go back to some of the first things that were said. You know, here's the initial tweet. One Piece, live action Netflix. Adventure is on the horizon. One Piece sets sail in 2023. Click reminder, remind me to add it to your list. You know, trying to get you over to the, over to the app, website, whatever, to... Make sure that you know, but not a whole lot is known. You know how how even IGN puts it. Though not official, the show will likely only cover the original East Blue arc, which was chapters 1 to 100 of the One Piece manga, which sees protagonist Luffy start his journey and assemble his pirate crew. Netflix has been fairly tight-lipped about the show, which was first announced in 2017. Oh, it's been a while but shared a behind-the-scenes look last year that showed off its incredible sets, including the Barada Bar, a giant restaurant ship that was built what built piece by piece with the from the series. Alongside Gotti as Luffy, Makua plays Ron... Ro uh, I cannot speak. Ro I know how to say it. Roranoa... I'm probably still butchering it. Zoro. Zoro is how I usually say it. I don't normally say his first name. Emily Rude plays Naomi. Jacob Roman Gibson plays Usapa. Uh, I usually hear the hear it. I can barely ever pronounce it. Usap and Taz Skyler plays Sanji. The supplementary cast also includes Morgan Davis as Kobe. Lily, I'm not even going to try, as Olivier. Aiden Scott as Hem Helen Poe, Helen Poe, Jeff Ward as Buggy, McKinley Bletcher the Third as Arlong, and Vincent Regan as Garp. Now I'm gonna admit it. I'm not the biggest fan of One Piece. I like it. I think it's a fantastic thing. The reason why I say I'm not the biggest fan is because there's so freaking much, and I'm barely even into it. That's why I say I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know this. Like I know Gundam. I don't know this like I know Demon Slayer. That's why I will not... Or Tokyo Ghoul. If you can't tell, I have a Tokyo Ghoul. Wood burning back here. That's why I'm not going to come out here and say... Bad idea. I, I'm not going to come out here and act all high and mighty like... Oh, this is it. Exactly the same. This is it. Yeah. yeah. But it does beg the question, you know, here, here they should gave us behind the scenes. Look, I mean, look, oh, it's so pretty. It looks just like the show. It looks like just like the anime. But here's my reason on why I know this show's going to suck. And we'll just we'll come over to this one for area one. One Piece live action writer compares Luffy to Kamala Harris. Yes. He compares Luffy to Kamala Harris. One Piece live action writer Steve Mayer compares Luffy to Kamala Harris with good intentions as Luffy is the lead character of the series. However, the announcement of One Piece live action by Netflix and Steve Madan's comparison perplexed the fans. They were particularly concerned about the inclusion of politics in the live action adaptation of One Piece. This created an uneasy among unease among the fans who didn't like the idea of involving politics in anime. As a result, Made received a lot of backlash for his comparison. Yeah. The main writer, a Twitter user, posted a tweet, Instagram, 
Monkey D, Luffy, Kamala Harris, Will of D, the initial D. God, why why would you do this? But it continues. It, it basically continues to go down the usual rabbit hole for why I don't think this is because we come over to Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop was crap. Live action anime is normally crap. The only exception ever really was live action Alita Battle Angel, but even that left out things from the manga. Things from the original anime. It wasn't as brutal as the original anime. They left things out. Let's just admit it. Let's say it how it is. Now, we come over to Cowboy Bebop. Yes, you know, you got a 60% audience score. People, audience score, oh, 60%. Yes, it was so beloved. It was so amazing. Has a decent score on IMDb and Metacritic. It's so beloved. It's so amazing. So that, resistant. oh, jeez, a mobber. Sorry, I forgot to mute some stuff. That was very loud in my own head. It... It's so beloved, it gets canceled, not just after its first season, not just after that, it got canceled after three weeks of releasing. This is such a beloved show, Cowboy Bebop. Everybody loved the live action Cowboy Bebop so much that it gets canceled after three weeks. Wonder why that is. Maybe it's more along the lines of what just came out from the creator, Sensei Watanabe. He couldn't even stomach it. He couldn't even stomach the Cowboy Bebop show. That they like to champion that, hey, we got him to join us. He, he was a part of the show. He helped us make it. He gave us notes. Notes that they ended up throwing away. Notes that they end up destroying. Oh, but here's another one. Here, here's another one. Death Note. Live action Death Note by Netflix again. They're getting another round with the uh, Ruther Brothers? Duffer, Bro Duffer Brothers. You know, the guys who made Stranger Things. They get a new shot. They get a new shot at this show. Shouldn't. You should have lost it right away because this is resound. It is disdained. The only good voice actor was the Shikigami, whose name always escapes me. I know the dude. He's Green Goblin. I always fail to get that guy's name. Somebody's got to tell me in the comments because somebody already told me in the comments once before, and I still forget it. I don't know what it is about that actor. Anyways, he was the only good part was him as the voice for the Shikigami. Other than that, this show was disdained. This show was a mark of death netflix live action anime have always been shite it is not good it is awful and i want to be real with you guys i don't want this show to be awful i don't want to hate these shows these are properties that people love i love anime i want honest to god one piece fans to have their Awesome live action anime. I for one do not think it can translate properly. Because of how over the top One Piece is. I want this to be good. Don't get me wrong. I beg for this to be good. Because I want those arguments on. Hey what's better. The live action or the anime. How close are they. How how different. Is it that good. Wh which one is better. I want those debates. You want to know why I want those debates? Because live action Gundam is coming. And if I can get if I can get any semblance of live action One Piece getting being good. If I can get any semblance of the possibility of live action My Hero Academia being good. I would fall on my knees and beg for it. I don't want these things to be crap. But I have no faith in them. Zero. I have no faith. I get it. Rotten Tomatoes said people loved it so much, but it got canceled after three weeks for Cowboy Bebop. What do you think is going to happen here? What do you think is going to happen when you have a creator already coming out and try already came out that this happened back in 2021? Monkey D. Luffy's Kamala Harris. Hoo, hoo, hoo. How do you think that feels? How do you think it feels as an anime fan, as a Gundam fan who's about to see Gundam be bastardized? Next year, you think I really want the live-action One Piece to suck? 
I want the live action One Piece to be amazing. That way it gives me hope that my live action Gundam is not complete garbage. But I have no faith. Zero faith. I want to be wrong. I really want to be wrong. But if I'm not wrong, and I predict that I'm not going to be wrong, I have zero faith for my live action Gundam. But let me get you guys' thoughts out in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I see it put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.